Hello. Given that I've just put out Walking the Dog Part 5, this is actually something that harks back, I think, to Walking the Dog Part 1. Um, can any of you remember that one? I, when I'm up the hill and I, at the end of the video, I point the camera at the ground and there's this little patch of brown grass uh, that was actually where a small baby deer had died or had been killed. I don't, I couldn't see any marks on it. It didn't look like it had been ravaged or anything, so I don't know actually what killed it. But it, it, it had fallen there, it had lay down there, died, and had gone back to the earth. It had decomposed almost completely, and it just the only thing that was left of it, as I said at that time, was this big brown patch. What an epitaph, really, yeah. But I was up there with Buddy today, as I am, I'm up there all the time, and as the grass is obviously dying back through winter and whatnot, I noticed something in the long grass. Well, there's actually there's some bushes off to the side, and I noticed it. And I've brought it back home. I'm going to take it back up, and I'm going to put it back up there. I don't know why. I just feel it, it belongs there. But anyway, there's its skull. That's the baby deer's skull. That's its skull cap. Part of the I think the back part of the skull is missing. But look, you can see that's its that's its eye sockets. That's his little skull. Look at the size of it. Tiny. Never got a chance to live its life for this to grow any bigger than what it was. So you can just imagine the sort of the shape of the deer. And look. That's its jaw bones. It's even got, look, it's little teeth. Little teeth, look. Oh, they're loose. Oh, God, they're going to come out. In fact, I've got both the jaw bones. <laughs> it's little teeth. Never got a chance to use them. They're all still razor sharp. Well, when I say razor sharp, I mean, you know, they'll never be using it for chomping grass and stuff. And there was a couple of other bones as well. I don't know what that is. And there's your sort of cartoon-shaped <laughs> bone. You know, the, uh, the stereotypical bone, I suppose. But look, yeah, that's this little skull cap. You can sort of see the, the divisions on the skull, how it's all split up. So I'm going to take this back up, put it down just off to the side. I don't know why, I just feel it belongs up there. But I just thought it would be interesting to let you see that, uh, you know, it may be gone, but, you know, we're still remembering it, which is, I think, a nice little thing. It didn't live much of a life, but maybe got about six, seven weeks. But it's still alive if we keep remembering it. Poor wee thing. See ya. <laughs>